In today's Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstration, I'm going to show you how to calculate the difference between two dates within numbers. So here we have a very basic data table with a start date and an end date. Now to work out the difference between date, we're going to use the function key date diff. So let's work out the difference in years in cell C2. So let's highlight cell C2 and then press the equals key. This will bring up the function box. Now we want to type in date diff. And now you can do this manually by selecting the open bracket. However, with Apple numbers, I recommend you pressing the enter key. And this will give you all the data points that you need to add to make this function work correctly. So the first data set, we need the start date. So we'll highlight that and then we'll click the start date. Now we need the end date as the second data point. Now you can add this manually as it's already in our sheet. We'll highlight that and then click the end date in B2. Now in the last data set that we need to enter is the calculation method. Now you can press this little drop down menu here and as we want to calculate the years we can select Y for years. Now we can either press enter or the little green tick. And now you can see the exact number of completed years between this date and this date is one year. Now you don't need to do that for each different data point. We can highlight the cell that we've just created. And you see this little yellow tab. You want to click it and hold and drag this top cell into the bottom cells. And this will copy the function to the cells below. And as you can see, there's no completed year and seven completed years in the third one. So let's move on to the next column to work out how many completed months has happened between the two dates. So in D2, we want to press the equals key to bring up the function box. And again, we want to enter date diff and then enter. Now the first data set, we want the start date the second data set, the end date, and the third data set, we want to click the drop down. And as we want the months, we want to click M for months. Now again, we want to click the enter key or the little green tick. And as you can see, calculation has been done. There's been 12 completed months between the first date and the second date. Again, let's drag this into the other cells and all the completed months are now worked out for the other dates. Now let's move on to the last column, the completed days. As we've done before, we want to press the equals key and then enter date diff, followed by enter. Again, let's enter the start date, then the end date, and then the calculation method. We want to select the drop down again. And now we want to select D for days, then enter with a little green tick. And as you can see, it's now worked out the completed days between the first and the second date. We can drag this down into the other cells to work out all their completed days. And that's how to calculate the difference between two dates in Apple numbers, whether that's years, months, or days. I hope you found that useful. And if you did, check out this playlist here, where we have many other Apple numbers spreadsheet demonstrations.